Hi everybody, it's Jessica from Chambray Blue Sewing. I am answering a reader question today. How to make ties for an apron, or maybe you need to make a sash for a dress, a blouse, a jacket, whatever. How do you do that? It's not as complicated as you might think. It's a good thing uh, for beginners to practice sewing on, and I'm gonna show you exactly what to do. I'm using a piece of cotton, quilting fabric. It's cut four inches wide and it's cut the width of the fabric, which is 44 inches. So if you are making ties for an apron, you would need two pieces like this. You can cut it a little bit shorter later. I always think it's good to start with a long piece and then cut it off as you need to going forward. So Okay, so I am using a regular presser foot with a size 14 needle and all-purpose thread. I'm going to use a stitch length of 3.0 and just a straight stitch. So the first thing we're going to do is fold the fabric right sides together. I'm going to stitch across the short end with a half an inch seam allowance. Back tack. So you can do a pivot here and go down the other side. I think it's a little bit easier to just run straight off the fabric. It gives you a little nicer corner there. And now we're going to sew the length of the piece. I don't use pins, I just fold it and match the fabric edge as I go. Take at the end. All right, now we're going to trim away the seam allowance to about a quarter of an inch just to make it easier to turn. Get rid of some of the bulk that's in there. So we're gonna do this on the length of the piece. When you get to the end here, we need to cut across close to the stitching at the corner, but you don't want to go all the way through it. And then we're gonna angle the fabric a bit so that we get a nice sharp point when we turn the fabric right side out. Now, my favorite thing to use is a number two pencil to turn it right side out but I will get it started just by pulling the fabric apart with my fingers a little bit and kind of pushing it in with your thumb. You can see how it's going to be easy to put to turn it right side out. You can use a ruler. Um, pencil is what I usually use. Just a regular pencil. I like to use one with an eraser so that it doesn't put a hole in your fabric but you just push that into the tube, like so. Oops. There we go. And when you get to the other end, you wanna make try and get a nice sharp point in the corners. So I'm using the 
eraser part of the pencil to push out the corner here so that it's a sharp point. You can see I've got most of it, but there's a little bit of fabric that doesn't come through. So I use a, the pin for that. You take a safety uh, a stick pin and you push it into the corner and just pull it out gently without putting holes in your fabric just to pull out that little last bit of material there so it's nice and straight. Okay, so now I can just take my pencil out and there's my sash. Now you can top stitch this around the outer edge for more durability. I would recommend that if you're just using cotton, if it's gonna be a tie for an apron or something, it'd be a little bit more um, sturdy with the top stitching. So I'll show you how to do, do that. I use the inside of my presser foot to line up the edge of the fabric close to the inside of the presser foot here. And I'm gonna put my needle down first and then lower my press a foot and I can start stitching. And when I get to the corner here, I want to take one stitch at a diagonal and then go down the side. And the reason you take a stitch at a diagonal is it's not noticeable but it just gives you a clean line there. Sometimes it's hard to get a perfect corner um, depending on how well your piece was stitched in the beginning. Um, you will want to do some pressing here also. I have not pressed mine, so it's a little bit uh, uneven, but we're gonna stitch along the side here a bit so you see what the top stitching will look like. That's what the top stitching will look like. You can stitch it on both edges. I just um, did a bit to show you exactly how that's supposed to work. But there's your belt. Thanks for watching. So that's the project for today. If you have a suggestion or a question about a technique I've used in one of my videos, please let me know. You can send me an email at jessica at chambrayblues.com or you can leave a, uh, a comment here in the comment section. I'm always happy to answer reader questions and concerns uh, about anything that I'm doing in my videos. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.